Hi everyone, I see you all are doing well and welcome back to another lesson. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Now what we're going to do in this one, like I, in the previous lesson, I said we will do the tag model. Now I've decided to do a category controller in the route since the model for the category is still fresh in our minds. Now the category, we only want to limit the use for the create, update, and delete methods only to the admin user. We don't want a normal user to be able to do that. All right, so let's create our category control under our admin folder and our routes as well. All right, so let's open up our terminal and we just have PHP, artisan, make, and then what we do is you say controller. Now remember, we have our STP controllers, we have our admin section right there, all right? So under the admin, we just wanted to create that category controller. Now I just want to add, you can add the dash R for the resource methods and it will actually do all the index, create, store, update, edit, delete, show. It will create all those methods in it. But I'm gonna add the dash M for the model. I'm just going to add the category model. Now what this does is it creates also a resource controller, but it will model bind the certain methods inside it. Okay, so let's create that. As you can see, it's successfully created. Let's go to our model. So our controller, so app, ACP, admin. You will see we got our category controller in here and what I have done is it created our index store request show all those kind of methods but as you can see it model binded the category in there all right so that's basically the best thing that we can do right there all right so let's our controller created now let's quickly create our routes as well so let's go to our routes file and in here we're just going to go to our admin routes Okay, so let me just leave a comment. This is our dashboard. Now the next part is, this is our categories right here. Now what we can do is we can actually do a route uh, resource right here. Right, we can do a resource route for the categories. But I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna list the individual routes, but it's your choice. If you want to do a route resource, you can do it for the categories, okay? But for me, I'm just going to do the individual methods. It's just easier for me to see. I don't know. This is just too much uh, magic, things that I don't see. So I like to kind of see all my methods and things like that. So I've got more control. Right. But what I'm going to do is I just want to create a round group. Now, this round group, I will just prefix. Okay. So we're just going to prefix it as well. But this time we're just going to prefix it with categories. All right. And the name is going to be as, and it's going to be categories dot. Now, the reason for the dot notation is here because if we don't edit that, actually we'll just concatenate this and this together. All right, but without the dot. All right, so let me just make sure this is actually an array. This must be an array. Okay, so after that, we're just going to create a function. All right. Now, the thing is, like I said before, you can do a resource route, but just remember preference. You don't have to do what I do. You can just use the resource route, and if you know how to work with your routes, you will do exactly the same thing as, as I do. All right, but what we want to do in here is we want to have a get route. Now, the slash right here, we go there, and that must just go and get our category controller. Now, as you see, it imports it at the top. Just make sure you import it at the top as well. And this will go to our index. So basically what we want to do is we want all the categories to be listed right there. So this is just going to be our index page. All right, so basically how this will look like 
is this. It will go to our forward slash admin, then categories, like this. Okay, so that's basically how it will look like. And in our index right here, this will, for name rounds, will basically be admin dot categories dot index. Okay, so this is our URL and that's our name route. It's the as right there. Okay, so let me just close it, delete this part. So you can also obviously uh, create a block comment for this. All right, so like this. Okay, so you can put the URL, you can actually do it like admin.categories and about, you can just put it like admin.categories. Okay, so you can obviously do it like this, but I'm not going to do it because Yes, I understand what it is, but the problem is for someone else that might read your code, they can easily see what it does. But I think for our sake, let's leave it for now. Okay, so that if another person comes, they can actually just see it and know what it is and stuff like that. Okay, and I'm just going to put a stop at the back there. All right, the next part that we're going to do, that's for our index. Now, then we're going to do for our get. And this is basically going to be, it needs to get our create view. Okay, so let's get our create view in there. Let me create all the methods and I will see you in a sec. All right, so. Now we've got our index, then we've got our create, then we've got our store method, then we've got our edit, we've got our update, and then obviously got our delete right there. So I can just, you can, for this, for this methods like here, you can leave it without the forward slash, but if you want to, as preference, you can add them there as well. All right, so this will basically be categories, this first one, and then it will be categories forward slash create categories dot store and then in it. Alright, so that's basically what we have right there. Now you don't need to add the store right there. You can just leave it as is and it will just go to that route right there. Alright, so that's our store method right there. That's our edit, our update. You don't even need to add that as well. So let's delete that. And yes, so we've got all of them right there. Now the next part that we're going to do is we need to go to our navigation and actually set it up right there, the, our index and our create method. Okay, so pause the video. So instead of all of this, you can use the route resource, but I like to kind of put all my routes out like this so I can see everything. It's just visually for me, it works better. All right. Just like I said, it's all down to preference. Okay, so if I just open my category controller just there for now. Now, I just want to add the protected middleware. So public, public um, function. This is just going to be the construct. Now, I just want to return the middleware. Now the middleware that we want to return is the ease admin. Admin class and the user must be authenticated. And the code class. As you can see, it imports it at the top right here. So we've got our middle two middlewares right there. Okay. But like I said before, you don't have to, you can actually just use the auth and just register your is admin as a string as well in your kernel. So let me just open the kernel again. So for someone that's new. So in here, we got our auth right there. That's what we use in a, as a middleware right here. So instead of that, you can use auth like this. So if someone is new, they can see it right there. Okay. 
or if you want don't want to use the classes you can use this but basically it does the same thing it brings in the class as well so this is just a shortcut basically that you add in there all right so for me i just bring in the whole class import it at the top so for some it might be double work but if someone new comes to your uh, construct method right here let's say they just see the strings right there they might not know where it comes from might not especially if someone is new to the framework and stuff like that okay but if you bring in the class they will know okay this is a class so they can even go to it and see what it all is all about all right just preference okay so we put it in our middleware right there so let me just comment out the middleware and actually see if we can get to that route if you guys remember it's it's forward slash admin categories and index so if we go there as you can see the get method we actually haven't sub not supposed to add the index right there let's go to the categories as you can see it goes to the route right there because if we go back to our route let's go back you will see what I was looking for is the index. The route didn't exist. We just want to go to the admin forward slash categories. Okay, so let's go back. So as you can see, we get to the route. But now the problem is I don't want people to access this route unless they're authenticated and they must be an admin. All right, so let's do that. So that that's why this middleware is there to protect that route. So if we go back again and if we refresh. You can see it asks now for a login. Okay. Now let's look in as John, the normal user, and see if we can access it routes. Okay. So let's go in as John at example.com. Obviously, add our password and let's just log in quickly as John. Now, as you can see, we logged in as John. So if we John Doe. Now, the next part that we want to do is we want to see if we can access it around admin and categories okay so let's try and access it right as you can see it is forbidden it gives us a four or three forbidden obviously we can modify and edit this page a little bit different and but we can do that in coming lessons or maybe not right so that routes cannot be accessed because john doe is not an admin so let's go back and log out and let's log in as an admin so let's log in as admin at example.com and password in there so locked in now as admin so if we go to our admin forward slash categories we go there as you can see we can access this route because the admin user is of the correct type right now what we want to do is we want to in our navigation we want to click in the index and the create method to just put those routes in there so let's do that so what you want to do you go to your components you go to dashboards and you get your site nav right there just go to that one then you go down you will see your categories right here now what we want to do is we want to change these categories to be the admin categories now what we can do now is we can just put in here admin so let's just put in front of all the categories just admin okay because these rounds do exist so let's just save that now what we want to do now as well is we want to say if the user is an admin show this route to that user so what we can do is we can add an if statement So if like this and it, and if the bottom, so our blade syntax right there. If the auth dot hello user, if that person is admin. Okay, so we're calling on that method that we created. So if the authenticated user is admin, show them this. If not, don't display it. All right, so we got that done. Now let's go and see if it works. 
So if we refresh our page right here, you can see the categories is showing for the admin user. So if we go to index right here, you can see we go to the categories and if we go to the create method, it will go to admin categories.create. All right, so we're obviously going to update our views in the next lesson for our categories. But for now, we just wanted to see if it's working. All right, so it takes us to the right places. Okay, so let's try and log in as a normal user and see if we display the categories. So let's log out and log in again. John at example.com and obviously add his password. And let's see if that user can be able to see the categories. He's unfortunately not available to see it. Or fortunately, he cannot see the categories. So it is working as intended. All right, if you like the video, guys, and that's the end of this lesson. In the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to create a database seeder for our categories. And then we're going to bring in all those categories in our index. And then we're going to be able to create a form where the admin user can create the categories. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you don't like it, a dislike. If you have any, any questions, please obviously forum related just ask them in the comment section and i will be able to see if i can reply to it if you have any errors and anything like that please ask all right that's the only way we all learn and if you maybe have a question and i don't know the answer to i will go maybe research it and i might learn something new as well i'm always learning actually thank you guys and see you in the next one goodbye